Hey, it's Walt Matten. We're out here in uh, central Wisconsin. Maybe I guess it's southern Wisconsin. With the custom jigs boys, Bob Gillespie, Papa Carl, and Sean from It's a Keeper Bait and Tackle. This is what we're after. Nice big bluegills. Hey Junkies! Hey Walt! Hey, it's Walt and Bob from Custom Jigs and Spins. Today on Outdoor Junkies, we're fishing a little backwater of the Wisconsin River. We're not going to tell you where, you'll have to find it on the map yourself, but hopefully it's going to have some good sized crappies and bluegills and hopefully we'll catch some fish, show you some techniques, and uh, we'll be on our way then. Sounds All right, good. Sounds Let's good. Go. Let's go do it. Oh, he's coming hot. A couple of them. They look, they look nicer. Yeah. There's fish. I'm not saying they're big ones. But... There you go. Got it. Let's see what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Monster perch. Carl, I bet yours is bigger. It has to be. Whoa! Whoa there, you go. there you go. He sniffed it about three times before he even went after it. What do you got on it? Uh, a little Maimu and a waxy. No, he was up like a, he came in from the side about a foot. Well, it had to be from the side because it didn't come off the bottom. Yeah. Oh, look at that thing. Ooh, that's nice. Wow. Carl was using a, a little tiny my moon and a wax worm, and I decided to jump it up, figuring I might get a crappie, but got that guy right there on the glasba. Basically, the glasbos has got this little diamond nose that reflects the light, if any light can get down there. And I put a little piece of wedgie plastic on there and then a couple of red spikes for, for scent. One of the things, you know, that I like to do, first of all, I have to see how much visibility there is, is about maybe eight inches of, eh, maybe a foot of visibility. Then you can tell what your jiggy motion is. And this here is an Icon rod. It's a 32 inch medium uh, light action. And this is designed for these four, four and a half, five millimeter tungsten baits. But this rod teams up good with it because of the action on the tip. You can give it that good jiggle motion. Whereas if you got a spring bobber, it's going to kind of be going like this. But now with the spring bobber, if you use them lighter lures. That's the right. That's the right technique to use there. So different rods, different different jigs, and making it more harder than it needs to be. <laughs> But I got one. He would hit anything that I was jigging at the moment. Just to make that clear. Holy smokes. That's bigger. Holy cow. Nice, nice fish. Nice fish. Wow. Red my moon seems to be the ticket, huh? Yep. Yeah. What I like to do is kind of like drill a whole bunch of holes. And then I got my long rod, I call this my putter. And hop, oop, there we go. Hop around from hole to hole. Oop, right there. This is a good one there. Hold on a second. You even got your own theme music. Yeah. <laughs> There's another nice one. There's some nice fish in this little, little spot we're at. Yeah, there he is. Over on the left. Head in your way, Carl. Two of them. Three of them. Big ones? Yeah. 
I mean, they're too small for me, so I sent them over oh. here. They're looking at it, and then they won't uh, commit when they're sitting there, and they want to they want to chase it. Once you get them on it, get them looking at it for a second. There, I got one in there now. I think he feels pretty good. Oh yeah, it's not bad. That's a nice oh, bluegill. It's a nice bluegill. It's a beautiful fish. I'll take a bucket of those any day. Heck yeah. Yeah. Well, they got them chasing. That's a good thing. Beautiful. Let him grow back. Bigger another day. That's fun. Let's get some more. All right. Got them down there. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, oh nice, nice one. See that one? Side, yeah. This one just came, I mean, he just came in. He, there was oh, one, right, one right underneath me. He wasn't messing around. He's coming in. Let's go. Let's see what it is. Oh, look okay. at See that coming in from the outside there? This one's a little heavier. You got a nice perch. I don't know. There's like three or four of them there. Oh, Ooh, no, look nice at that. Nice gill. Nice gill. So there you go. Well, that one took a little time, but I finally got him one. Hey, Carl, look here. Nice bluegill. I dropped down to uh, a size 14 my moon. They're just being a little bit finicky. And downsize here, a couple real small tungsten head, a little loop on it. Loop tie for some action, a couple of red spikes just to give it a little bit of flavor. And nice little bluegill. All right, let's see if there's more down there. In the midst of a global pandemic, one man has sacrificed it all for better ice fishing, Chuckeye Matten. He just makes jigs. Just make jigs, just make jigs, just make jigs. I got jigs. Nice, what are they called? Tootso. Introducing the Tootso, the latest tungsten creation from Custom Jigs and Spins. Hey, it's Walt Matten. We're out here in uh, central Wisconsin, maybe I guess it's southern Wisconsin, with the Custom Jigs boys, Bob Gillespie, Papa Carl, and Sean from It's a Keeper Bait and Tackle. And this is what we're after, nice big bluegills. They were there, let's see if we can get them to come back. Stick a couple bugs on. And I like to squeeze one, it gets some juice flowing on them. A little extra attractant. Here we go, let's see if we can get one to eat. Little one. <laughs> little guy, it's a perch. Aren't they little cuties? Be nice if that was about a, one of those big 13 inch slobs. Hey, any fish is good to catch in my book. That's a little one. Same color. Yeah. Hey, it's Walt from Custom Jigs and Spins. I'm gonna show you some of the lures that we've been using out here and that you can use too, whether you're fishing a river backwater or just a smaller pond or even a lake for bluegills, crappies, and basically whatever's down there. So what I like to use is this slender spoon over here. This is a great search lure. And this is a Wonder Glow pattern, which seems to work everywhere. Now the Slender Spoon's got a really sharp hook. You can spike it up with some, some maggots or wax worms, but you wanna make sure that you put that snap on there. The snap comes in the package, because otherwise, anytime you use a spoon like this that's stamped out, it's, it's got a little sharp edge in there. So you wanna use that, and then that, that little snap allows for quick, quick switching of the lures. But you can see how tiny we've gotten here when the going gets tough especially compared to this spoon, which isn't a very large spoon at all. These little size uh, three millimeter check eyes and size uh, 14 my moons over here are really some tiny stuff. You put three or four spikes on there, 
and they're made out of tungsten so they get down quick. That's been some of the, the, work, the lures that have been working a lot better when you're fishing in eight, 10 foot of water like we are here. Little small thing, little tungsten on there, it's gonna get down quick. New this year for the 2021 season, we've got the Tutso. And the Tutso is basically, here's a, here's a, a Ratso, and a Ratso has got a lead head, gold hook and a nice finesse plastic body. Got a lot of motion in the water. You basically don't even have to jig it. But this has got a lead head. Well, these heads here are all made out of tungsten. So these are nearly twice twice as heavy as the same size in lead. So it's gonna get down there deeper and quicker. Your line is gonna be tighter and you're gonna feel those fish bite instantly. So in some situations, lead is good because it's a little bit lighter, the fish suck it in. In other situations, if you got wind or you're fishing deeper water, the heavier tungsten's gonna be better. So then over here, I've got the three sizes of the Tutso. We've got a size six, which is gonna be good for crappies and uh, walleyes and bass. We've got a size eight, which is good for pretty much all species. And then when the going gets tough, you get a little size size 10 over there. And we also have the wolf, the wolf finky, which was also do, new last year. And you can see that's basically the same size lure, but instead of the soft plastic finesse tail body, we've got a harder plastic body here. And these work real good too especially with the small minnow or, or some bugs. So those are just some of the lures that we're using out here. And obviously uh, you can use, pick whatever colors you want, but stained water like this, bright colors seem to work good or some glows. And the tungsten gets us down quicker when it's windy and keeps us down there into the fish zone. And then one other thing, when you've got tungsten lures like we've got here, you want a box like this Rose Creek box, which keeps them in here. If these are all jumbled up in a regular lure box, because of the heavy head, the paint will chip. So you want something that's gonna separate them. This is nice, it's got a little gasket seal. These are available at customjigs.com and you can see they hold everything real well in here. So it's a great way to hold your stuff, shove them right in your pocket. You're not gonna have any damage to your lures. So one other quick tip for you. Hey, you got something there, Robert. Yeah, you know. Huh? Guy talks about lures Look and then you that. use them. Hey. Nothing wrong with that, but now what do you got on there? You got a little bitty My Moon? A little My Moon 14, a little waxy. Yep. And a little bit of meat. They're being awful finicky, short bite today. Yeah. That cold, high pressure came in through last night. They're yeah. just a little bit finicky. Not a cloud in the sky all day. Nope. It's gone from four degrees in the morning up to about 20 degrees now, and the bite is just a little bit tough. We did manage some nice fish though so far, but it is a little bit tough. I'm Sean McCartan. I'm the owner of It's a Keeper Bait and Tackle in Janesville, Wisconsin. And uh, I'm out here with uh, Bob and Walt from Custom Jig and Spins. And we were chasing the elusive panfish today. It was a very tough bite, um, but we had a heck of a good time and enjoying the great outdoors and what it's all about. So looking forward to doing it next time. Well, we got a few, but sometimes you beat the bluegill and sometimes the bluegill beat you. Today, yeah. the bluegill beat us. Yeah. Hey, yeah, for more information on some of the lures we use today, go to customjigs.com. Until next time, stay tuned for more outdoor junkies. Hey, Bob, thanks a lot. Nice Carl, Walter, way to catch them. Carl. We did well for what we could do. <laughs> Junky style. <laughs> Junky style. <laughs> Outdoor Junkies is brought to you by I-90 Enterprises, Hangsters Motorsports, Rooster Wrap, Hunting Gear, Cunis Country, Custom Jigs and Spins, and Bee Fish and Tackle. This has been a Stone Lake production.